Well, good evening and a warm welcome to the Czech Republic, more specifically to Ostrava in the northeastern region, just 15 kilometers. Takže ty jako vrása vaše dláně, pojďte, pozbuzujte, jeden jediný pokus máte to borec. A po něm uvidíme reprogramování a rodinu. A to pozitelně as though they were uh, the opening ceremony short. A bit of excitement from the pole vault runway. Thiago Braz. Almost stayed on for him. Men's pole vault got underway. At uh, 25 minutes past four local time. Well, competition that boasts the likes of uh, Sam Kendricks and uh, Renaud Lavigny. At the moment, it's uh, John Ernest Obiena from the Philippines who's uh, heading up the field. Appearance at uh, 5 meters 74 at the second attempt for John Ernest. Knee also clear at uh, 5.74 at the second time of asking. Here he is taking on 5.84, the Frenchman. You now he's a six metre jumper when he's at his best. Not even close, brings a wry smile. From uh, Renault, Sam Kendricks went out at uh, 5.74. First time clearances, 5.34, 44, 54 and 64 for the American. Two more attempts. It's quite an evening we have in store for you. Just over two hours of top track and field action. Oh, the, uh, some of the clearances. Here's Kendricks, clearing 5.64. And that was the end of the good news for Sam. Great names, of course, have graced this event down the years. And the current crop of athletes this year have a lot to live up to. Names like Usain Bolt, Anita Wodacic. And there is our leader, Obiena. Second attempt at 5.84, I do believe. And this year's star of the show is undoubtedly 400-metre uh, hurdler, Norwegian Karsten Varholm, 
24 nearing the uh, magic world record mark set by USA's Kevin Young of 46.78 back in 1992 at the uh, Barcelona Olympics. I'm old enough to remember that. So Barholm has certainly been uh, creeping closer. Ran within nine hundredths of a second last month in Stockholm, setting a new national and continental record of 46.87. So let's see how fast he can go this evening. The main programme this year will be uh, opening with the women's javelin, where uh, two-time two -time Olympic and world record holder Barbara Shvatakova is the main attraction, of course, on home soil. The men's competition, world silver medalist Jakub Vodjajic will fly the flag for the host nation. We also have another Olympic champion in the men's triple jump in USA's Christian Taylor. Have to watch out for Ug Fabrice Zango, the African record holder from Burkina Faso. Now lives in France, will certainly be a threat. As indeed is 18-meter jumper Pedro Pablo Pichardo from uh, Portugal. In the shot put circle, really interesting to see Olympic champion Ryan Krauser from the US. He's already improved his personal best this year to uh, 22.91 as we rejoin the pole vault and uh, Renault Lavigny. Once again, Daniels to make that height. 584, proving a stumbling block both for Obiena and Lavigny. As I say, his uh, personal best this year to 22 meters 91. And we're hearing reports from training that speak of 23 meter effort. So it'll uh, be interesting to see what he can do in uh, Ostrava. Also, have uh, the young Ethiopian, Selaman Varega, who took silver at the Doha World Championships. He'll be taking on the Zatopek Memorial 5,000 meter race. And he'll be attempting to break the uh, 2003 record of Kenyan Stephen Chiron, which stands at uh, 12 minutes, 48.81. Varega currently holds the junior world record of uh, 12 minutes, 43.02, so it's certainly a possibility for him. Local interest, Susanna Heinova will run the uh, seldom run 300 meter hurdles as the holder of the best time in uh, history, set at 38.16 back in 2013. Our main rival looking uh, at the moment to be Switzerland's Lea Sprunge, the European champion from uh, 2018. And it's John Obiena. And as that uh, run up. Other possible highlights we have uh, Ramil Gulia of uh, Turkey, the 200 meter world champion. And we're the undoubted favourite in the men's 150 metres. And we'll see two heats. Britain, Gemma Riki. One in Big Gosh, won the 1500 meter race in four minutes 0901. We'll be at it again this evening. And here are the women who make up the start list for the uh, javelin. Okay, going pretty close. Obiena. He stays at 5.74. Will it be enough for the win? Standing in his way. One last attempt from uh, Renaud Lavilny at the same height, 5.74. Interesting javelin competition in the offing. Barbara Spotakova, world record holder, 72-28 in the field, as mentioned. Two Olympic golds to her name, three-time world champion in the javelin.
We also have uh, Lena Musa, the under 23 champ from 2013. Maria Andrzejczyk finished fourth at the uh, Rio Olympics. And is a former European junior champion from 2015. Another Czech in the field, Nikola Ogrodnikova, European Championship silver medalist in 2018, the former heptathlete. And uh, making up the field, Sara Kolak, more than making up the field, the reigning Olympic champion. That's right, European under 23 champ to boot in 2017. National record holder at 68 meters 43. So, uh, quite a strong field in the women's javelin. It's uh, due to get underway very shortly. First up, Renaud Lavilny. And it's the last attempt at 584. If he uh, makes it, he wins the competition. Currently in that second spot behind Obiena of the Philippines. Interested on looker there. Right a picture. Sam Kendricks already assured of uh, third place in this competition with his 564. Thiago Braz also over 564. Kendricks ahead of him on count back. As you can hear, pretty decent crowd considering the uh, restrictions. They'll make themselves heard. Egging him on. La Villeneuve, 584. And again. The bridge too far for the Frenchman. So the win then going to Ernest John Obiena. Renault La Villeneuve will have to settle for second spot. Seems pretty pleased with that. Beautiful conditions here. The late summer turns into uh, autumn. Cusp at the moment, 20, 20 degrees Celsius, which uh, equates to uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit old money. Pat on the back for La Villeneuve, the world champion. And there we have confirmation of that uh, result in the men's pole vault. Season's best, both for Obiena and La Villene. They'd be pretty happy with that, I'm sure. And the Filipino getting the win.